Oh, there it's Rich here again, Crafty Gamer Club. And here we are, Path of Conquest. We are looking for some herbs. What we're going to be doing, in actual fact, is flying around Shadow Moon Valley. We're going to be trying to hit up a lot of these Nightmare Vine nodes. What we're going to be looking to do is almost like make a sort of cross symbol across the map. Just going from north, east, south, and west. Pretty much centered around the Hand of Gul'dan. This little mountainous region in there in the middle. Um, that's the main focal point. So as soon as we hit here, we shoot off in the next direction. Come back down and off in the next one. Pretty straightforward. You can incorporate the Neverwing legend if you want. But all you're going to get over that side is Dreaming Glory and Manifestal by the looks of it. Um... So if you're going to do that, I'd probably say halve the map, but as we're going to be focusing on Nightmare Vine in this one, best to try and use as much time for farming that. Um, I think it's took a fair bit of a big hit, if just have a look at it. Um, so we've got some of these listed for about three gold. Hopefully all those sell and get gone, so we can get back to the 20, 25, 30 gold apiece level that they were at. Just the way of things at the minute, so soon after the auction house merge. But without another waffle, let's get straight to the job itself, the task at hand, and start with the route. I don't think I need to go right up to this because I don't think there's too many nodes. I'm just going to shoot off westward. Oh. So, Eric Campbell looks a bit. Yep. Sure, I saw something this way before we move too far on. This way, but looks a bit. One we're after. Vine. Or is it? All the mining nodes, because we are here to do a bit of herbalism today. Nothing more. And get back on with our route. Like, I was to wonder there. Terracone, yep, there we are. Seem to be around the bases of the trees a lot more. Okay. Threw it over the stronghold. Bit as we're up against the near bottom corner. Three. Be aiming for around that one thousand gold per ten minute mark. That seems to be a good a good goal to aim for when farming these herbalism nodes yourself in Burning Crusade. You can get more than a thousand golds worth in ten minutes, you're on to a bit of a winner in my opinion. I'm going to go across from here. Enter. miss any nodes that we can hit upon. Now, on our way we go. Apple for a second there. Enter again. So just going to quickly check that node and we're going to shoot upwards or northwards. 
last coil scarf point and round. I'll get into the very edge, just save a bit of time. It's very conscious, we want to try and get around this whole map in about 10 if we can. Of course, we get snowballed under a load of herb notes. Which is by me, because that means more materials, more gold. Towards the centre mass. Ruins of Bari. Towards the temple. Black temple. Bolts are not really flowing at the second. We're in drastic need of a few herb nodes now. Try and bulk this up a bit for us. We've only three or four in. Nope, oh, just got the one. Everyone, I'll do. How very dare you? Just realised. Oh, I mean, restoration. So all my action bars are a bit messed up. It's been playing in a few dungeons not too long ago, and I really should get back to balance. In fact. Can we do that just now? Yes, we can. He stood still. We haven't got time for that sort of nonsense. Oh, we'd, yep, nothing, nothing too amazing here. Towards Eclipse Point again. That kind of gives you the gist of the whole route. We will go that bit further back if it means that we've got something to go and collect. Nightmare finds here, and those we take again. So there you go, we're pretty much back at the start now. It's ruined, so head back westward. Picking a, a fair bit of dreaming, glory, fell hide, and um, fell hide. A weed, that's what we meant to say. Occasional mats of life. Terracone, where there's a couple of the deadened trees that have still got a bit of life clinging to them by the looks of it. And then the um, nightmare vine that we've actually come to farm. Or if when other people go out to farm their materials there, say for example, if you're going to farm um, Corium, so if you're just going to go and mine all of the adamantite nodes, so I believe the sharer share node with those, like every so many adamantite nodes is a Corium node or something to that effect. Like people when they're going out there. 
by simply ignoring everything that isn't or doesn't have a chance to become at least another thing that they're trying to gather or are they doing it like myself where they're just literally everything that they can get hold of just going for it because the only real difference would be if you're playing in areas where there's more challenging content for your level last thing you want to do is get pulled into a, a massive protracted battle where you could have just flown by, gone to the next node, got the thing you're after, and then on with your day, I suppose. The only thing that would make me think twice about dropping down to collect, or dropping down to mine. Just triple drop there on the vine. Must at the ten minutes now. Didn't seem like the best start for the nodes once we got going, but just seemed like we're not that far off. We're aiming at. I think we're gonna be about ten percent shy. Ten minutes. So whatever's in this last one. Yep, so we're at nine oh eight. A little bit shy of the the thousand gold for ten minutes. Let's see how much longer it would have took us. Not very long at all by the looks of it. Another a minute so I imagine it's gonna have to go to the next node now because that dreaming glory doesn't seem to have too much value attached to it at the minute. No. It's another one that's a bit of a casualty of the auction house merge. Four eleven. I think we can. Yes yeah, so we've got the fares in there. A bit of the vines, some fellweed mixed in, we've had some suds in terms of modes of life, and the fellweed here and there, dashing of terracone, and of course the dreaming glory there mixed in. So nothing too crazy, but again, it's materials that we potentially don't have to go out and get. So starting to build up a nice doctor supply of all of these. Looking at that minimum buyout there versus the market value. That's gonna have a long way to bounce back up. Yeah, that's the end of that farm. So thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Be safe. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.